Thanks for calling Berated B-Rated Movies, where B-Rated isn't a bad word. This is Brian. Hello? 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 Hello, Hello? are you there? Are you there? I'm here, but are you? Yeah, I actually don't even... Well, there's usually this other guy who answers the phone, but he's not here today. Do you know what you're doing? I think. Well, who is this? This is Brian from Berated. Well, I'm at Berated B Rated Movies. Here. Who is this? Oh, this is Brittany. I was told to call in because you guys do reviews from what I've heard. Oh, yeah. We got a good one tonight. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we we're watching Crawlers on Hulu. It's pretty much, um, seems like it's St. Patrick's Day. And some college people are going out and doing whatever they're called, the bar crawls, you know? I'm hinting that's probably where the crawler's name came from. But they do bar crawlers, or crawls, where they just jump from bar to bar to bar to bar to bar. And I'm pretty sure that whenever alcohol and bars is involved, it usually sets a good tone for the evening. So it's not about bugs? Like the crawling bugs? It potentially is. I mean, I have no idea, but it has, it was directed by Brandon Zuck, and it has Jude Demarest, probably said his name completely wrong, uh, Georgia Wingham, probably said that one wrong, and Olivia Lang, probably said that one wrong. I'm striking three for three on this one. Like I said, I don't, know, I don't even think I'm supposed to be here, but the guy who I usually call and mess with, he wasn't here today. So, well, that was pretty rude of him. Like, I hope he obviously has to again. trust you. Probably saving lives, like always. Hopefully. But, yeah. All right. Well, should we start watching it? Yeah. Well, hey, before you hang up and we watch this, can I ask you something? Yeah. All right. So, you know what, like, the Olympic ski jump is where, like, you fly down that steep hill? And then you jump off at the very end, you fly like hundreds of yards in the air. On skis, yes. Yeah. So if you had to do that or get into a ring with Mike Tyson until one of you guys gets knocked out, what one would you do? Um, I See? would probably just do the ring with Mike Tyson. <laughs> and just hope that it ends quickly? <laughs> Yeah, because what if I get the knockout for him? Yeah, see? I mean, potentially you could knock Tyson out if, I mean... I mean, maybe I'll bite his ear. I don't know. It potentially. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and start this movie. So we'll see how it goes uh, next time somebody calls him. All right. (laughs) Thanks. All right. (laughs) Bye. Berated, B-Rated Movies. All right. And welcome to uh, welcome to the show this evening, everybody. I am Brian, as always. Um, Anthony is out saving lives. Um, so, in... Is it in lieu of his absence or whatever it is? Since he's not here, I have us with, I have with me, my youngest sister, Brittany. She, yes. <laughs> she was also on our uh, Lamageddon episode, right? Yep. That was a very yeah. good movie. Do you still have nightmares? I do, actually. I hear noises at night, and I don't know if it's the llamas coming back from, like... From Utah? Where were the kids? Those fucking llamas, dude. Those things scared the shit. Like, that sound. Every day I thought a new kid was being murdered in freaking Clearfield, Utah. Yeah, I didn't know llamas made that noise. I thought they just spit, like, camels. I'm pretty sure they don't. (laughs) <laughs> They're not supposed oh. to. <laughs> I thought they did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't make that noise normally. Like, you know when you get a dog's vocal cords taken out, it sounds all weird? 
Yeah. I think they were trying to do that with those llamas, but I don't know what the hell. I don't know. Maybe we should go back to Utah and go look at all those llamas. Compare no, it. There wasn't. There wasn't anything cool in Utah at all. Nick, did you like Utah? We were there for like three months. I like the house and lagoon, but other than that, no, there's nothing there. Yeah, the addresses sucked. Directions to get places sucked. Like, I mean, I was cool at that school, and then mom got all pissed because that dude put me as one of those, like, assassin hit list things. (laughs) But, no, man. Everything about, like, well, I mean, the mall in, what, Ogden, I guess, was pretty funny. That was pretty far. It had an indoor sports store where you could play basketball, baseball, freaking golf. It had like a boxing ring set up. And I remember my buddy Jason and I went there and we started beating the crap out of like the boxing bags. And that's, you guys can't do that. And we're like, what? We're freaking trying it out. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Tell me I can't test out a boxing bag. I should have said, you see this bag? Oh, yeah. Do you want that to be you? Mm-hmm. You should have. I don't know why you didn't. Mom probably would have got really mad at me. Well, mom was in Alaska. So no, that's after. Oh, well, she was in Alaska when I got bit in the face from that stupid dog. Was she in Alaska? Yeah. Huh. So that's why you took me to the hospital with the neighbor to go get my stitches. Yeah. I thought mom was just at work. Nope. She was in Alaska. Huh. I'm pretty sure I got stung by a bee in the it back of that house. Me. Yeah, so that's why I know I'm not allergic to bees. Unlike, unlike someone that we know. Unlike one of our siblings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nerd. Right? Man, and she was so good, too, with O negative blood and everything. And now? Now it's that bees. It's just up to us now. But... Anywho, freaking thanks for stepping up. I think you were the first person to hurry up and message me. So I was like, all right, everybody else, sorry. First come, first serve. Yeah. Maybe it was because the movie, like I chose Crawlers instead of the other one because I'm pretty sure the other one's going to have a shit ton of boobs. And I'm pretty sure I was like, nah, I'm not going to watch a movies with boobies with my sister. Yeah, that'd be a little awkward. A lot of awkward. <laughs> so, with crawlers, I said it looks like it's uh, there's going to be doing a beer crawl or a bar crawl, whatever the hell, a pub crawl. That's what's called. Okay. Yeah, you've ever done? Do you have any funny bar stories? <sighs> um... Now, mom listens, you're going to get in total trouble. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've never been to a bar. I don't know. I don't know what that's like. There you go. Why don't you tell us your story? Well, this one time in Long Beach, well, I have a bunch of bar stories from Long Beach, but in Long Beach, I hung out with uh, they're a really nice crowd if you knew them, but if you just looked at them, you'd probably not want to be, you know, they were some, you know, they had, they served their time, you Uh-oh. know. They were affiliated in some ways, I believe. But they were nice if you got to know them, like I said. But they were very loyal to each other. So one time, <clears throat> we were all outside because the bar was closing. And you remember how I used to dress in like high school and the type of people I hung around in high school? So those are the type of people that I was hanging out with, right? Oh, gosh. So, yeah. So all of a sudden, this dude rolls up and he's wearing like the... My dad's a lawyer and I own a yacht vibe. You know, he's wearing like khaki shorts and like a button up shirt and like a what ascot around his neck and like a fucking sweater, you know, and I don't know what possessed him to come and try to stand in our circle while we were talking. But this guy comes up and just starts talking to us. and We're like, what's up? You know, and then he got all he said an inappropriate comment about, you know, all of us should have our condoms out and everything like that because we're going to do something. And what? me and my smart ass ways, I said, I don't believe in condoms. I only believe in anal. Oh my gosh. 
and apparently he got really mad at me when he said that. So uh, he was like, what'd you say? And so all those people joined up around him. They're like, what the fuck? Like, you want to get folded? You know? Yeah. See? That's a pretty intense story. <laughs> it's pretty funny. There's been a lot of uh, funny mishaps like that, you know, throughout my years of going to bars, you know? It Cracks sounds me pretty up. pretty intense. Cracks me up. But, um, I am, as you can tell, I'm drinking Evan Williams. Nobody can see this, but showing to the my sister, the big ball of whiskey that I'm drinking. You know what I was going to do? I was going to put in my niece's earrings and wear them on the episode just to be funny. You but should. we're not recording video, you know, just one less funny thing to do. But they mm-hmm. see you so well. I know, right? Especially Are they supposed to be drinking. loops? I've never seen earrings like that, where it sticks in and then it has a half loop. Yeah, sometimes the backs just don't go all the way. They're just half. All right, that's weird. Yeah, like the ones that I have in right now go all the way, like a circle. And those ones are just the half to go just right over the lobe. You know, it's funny. I got my ears pierced when I was 21. Yeah. No. When I was 20, I believe. Yeah, 20. And then my tattoo started when I was 21. So I got my ears pierced when I was 20. And, you know, when you get your ears pierced, like, okay, you have to put the stud in and then leave the stud for however many weeks and then you can switch them out. I was like, fuck that. So I took the studs out and I was at this girl's house and I was switching them out for loops, like infinite loops or whatever they're called. Oh, yeah. 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 And we couldn't find, it's going to be really messed up, couldn't find the hole (laughs) for it to come out the back, you know? And so I don't know what, but I was like, dude, I'm starting to get lightheaded. But I didn't tell her that because obviously she'd be like, well, then guess what? You can't get in my bed. And that was my main (laughs) goal of going over to her house that night was to go into her bed and just sleep a whole eight hours because I was tired. Right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. But funny. Never had any issues after that. Switching them out. Super crazy. So did you actually get those earrings in? I did. I got my earrings in and I got in her bed. Bravo. (laughs) Bravo. I know. I know. Multiple times. But, (laughs) anyways, I'm going to refill this drink. And then we'll come back and we will start crawlers. What if that's not even how you say it? What if it's like crawlers? Boom. Boom. Like creepy crawlers? Could be. But, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll find out. We will. All right. We'll be back. And Good music. we are back with the start of crawlers going down a freaking tunnel. It looks like Spider-Man No Way Home where he's in the infinite verse or whatever the fuck he called it. Oh, into the dark, huh? Fucking real cute. <laughs> oh shit. That's the girl from fucking Cobra Kai. No, no. She looks like her, but she's not. Oh. She looks really close. I don't know who that is. Well, if she does any kind of karate, then we'll know that I was right. Yeah. <laughs> she could be her twin. What's that girl's name? Angie? No. And We're Cobra watching Kai? Cobra Kai right now. Hmm. I don't remember her name. Going after Miguel and Robbie. There's a bunch of loosey gooseys in Cobra Kai. Yeah, a bunch of slores. Mm-hmm. Well, so now she's telling her story about how it all started a year ago. And what in did the she 70s. Say? Coincidentally, it was a meteoroid, meteorite, whatever the fuck it happened last night or that night. God, a lot of people died. A lot of people. Not a few. Oh, 
Now we're doing the intros. Blumhouse. These guys are pretty good. We like Blumhouse. <clears throat> Thudding rock music. What the fuck? <laughs> so I don't know if you knew this, but like I once um, was offered a job to write subtitle or captions on stuff. And I was like, nah. You should have. Oh, they're just fighting. Well, they're also just... They're TV? down a hall, like a long-ass road with those big-ass trees in them. And somebody toilet papered. Oh, I guess that could be somebody's house. Why would you party at someone's house after you toilet papered it? <laughs> There's a lot of things we used to, You never did anything messed up at a party? Top tanked? <laughs> no. I was too scared mom was going to find out. So, one time we were younger, we had to evade some people. And it was after we had done some bad things. And that person's mom told mom. And she's like, Brian, did you do this? And I was like, God damn it. Yes. Wow. Little snitch. Right. So we're just still at a party. It's a St. Patty's oh. party. There's still, there's so much toilet paper in there. And they're still mm-hmm. just doing it right in front of the cop that's in his car, watching it all go down. They probably can't see him. <laughs> so now the cop turns his lights on and then everybody starts walking away nonchalantly. Oh, the cop didn't even do anything. That's him right there. It looks like he's driving a DeLorean. Yeah, he he just left. Didn't do anything. He said he's getting too old for this shit. Then he rolls up on some skeezies. Oh, hold up. Oh. He tries Rejected. to pick up on them. The cop tried to pick up on these two chicks. And they just laughed at his face. And now his name is Officer Fuckboy. Damn. Denied. I don't know why you would ever try to pick up on somebody in your work uniform. I mean, if you were a doctor, had like doctor scrubs, okay, sure, maybe. You know? Or, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Oh. There's just someone laying. The cop hit him. That cop freaking. That was the pedestrian. Who's wearing underwear and socks. That's a weird combo to just wear out on St. Patty's Day. Well, the cop is hoping that he's either drunk or high. I wonder what one he'll be. Drunk and high at the same time? Here it goes. Oh, he's got shoes on, too. He's not a savage. I feel like he's wearing knee-high socks, though, and briefs. And no clothes anywhere in sight. So that means that he was dressed like that when the officer hit him. There you go. So now the officer's going to roll him over because that's what you should do with an unconscious body. Oh, he's getting up. Hold on. He's a ginger. Maybe that's why he's okay. Yeah. Not hurt or anything. He's asking me, he's like, are you a student here? Oh, Oh, shit. No. He just bit his inner arm. There goes his tendons. And if that officer, yep, he's a right-handed officer, so he's never going to be able to shoot that gun again. Oh, he's running away. He's scared. He just got bit. God damn. Like a gigantic bite out of his arm. Uh Uh-oh. Now he pulls out his piece of shit six-shooter. Like, fuck. Now everybody's like, oh, nine millimeters. They can clog or, you know, everything. Guess what? I don't care. I take my chances. Oh, fuck. He's a goner. So officer got tackled. Against his windshield and all this blood splurted out. Probably from his butt. Could be. And then we're at Crawlers. Nope. And now it's saying we're going through the uh, intro. Where it's talking about a meteor. What the fuck? Was that the bat from uh, Walking Dead? It looked like it. (laughs) A lot of similarities. The Irish flag. Oh shit, should I go grab my flag while we're watching this? (laughs) Do you have one? Yeah, for the McGregor fights. Oh my gosh. Dude, I had like, I talked to these guys when we were all there for all all these fights. And I grabbed 
like like four or five flags off of people. You know, and there's like, yeah, here you go, here you go, here you go. And then Farouz, he's like, I want one. And I was like, uh, do I give him one? Because then I only have four left. And so then I gave Farouz one. Well, that was nice of you. I would not have done that. I know. Well, my pockets were full of freaking Irish flags that night. And then the next fight we went to, we brought them. And they were like, hey, give us some more flags. And I was like, all right. Mm-hmm. Still going through a montage of blood cells transforming into looks like diseases, aliens, uh, missing people reports. That's a fucking Slenderman. That's Black Widow. An ice cave is still going through. Oh, there's a gun for you. That's probably the cop's gun. <sighs> Makes me want to say, remember that time means- that there was a bat at my house? Oh, and times. we're opening up. With some Irish music. I hope this at Patty's Pub from It's Always Sunny. That would be amazing. If Mac and Dee and Charlie were here. Frank. Oh, so we got the black chick, Misty. She looks like she's going to a straight fucking attitude tonight. Like, nobody she better looks- fucking talk to me. She looks like she's on her phone, like, mad that her friends are posting on Instagram that she's not there, but they're, like, having a good time. Yeah, she's jealous. Maybe she secretly likes one of them. Yeah. Said, but like, she didn't get invited. Yeah. Where's my invite? You're out and about at a different bar. Oh, she deleted the Oh, phone. she didn't post it. Maybe they didn't invite you because you say shit like, where's my invite? See? Yeah, you want to be a party pooper. But look, she's clearly dressed up like she's getting ready to go out for the night. She is out. Yeah, she's at a bar. <laughs> I don't know why. Where's your friend's invite to where you're at? Exactly. Phone works both ways, nerd. See? Gosh. That's for everybody. Everybody listening. Phone works both ways. All right? All right. So now we're going into a bar where it's freaking decked out in patty. And apparently it's and free drinks. Say shit. Did you wear green a couple days ago or when was St. Patrick's Day? It was almost ago. a month ago. <sighs> I did it. And yes. We all did. I didn't want to get right. pinched. Chloe, Chloe looks like she's the uh, the fun gal, if you know what I'm saying. She's on the bar pouring shots into people's mouths. Oh, they said they've been friends since freshman year? Yeah. This, she really needed a friend. Yeah, she does. I mean, I'd kick her to the curb, but Missy's loyal. Oh, so this is the Cobra Kai wannabe girl telling her story. Remember? Yep, and now she's just kind of... Oh, she's going over to Misty. Oh, Misty. What's up, girl? Oh, she's saying, oh, shit. That's amazing. I've never seen that shirt before. It says, kiss me, I'm Irish. Oh, Were those so now the we girls? Have a whole... in, oh. her, in her phone? Yep, we have all three girls now. Oh, she's jealous. God, Misty's a... God damn. Guarantee she's single in this movie. She probably has the hots for Chloe and wants her all to herself. And that's why she's all jealous of this new girl that transferred over there. Eugen is the other girl. So we got Misty, the black chick. Uh, Chloe, guessing she's white. And Eugen... Asian. Yeah, dude. Does it keep pausing in on Chloe and being like, Wah. "Yeah, yeah." yeah. Chloe oh, has uh, some jealousy issues apparently in this movie. I feel like it'd be Misty that has the jealousy issues. Did I say Misty? No, you said Chloe. Oh, that's because of Evan Williams. All right. And now we have an Aaron. Oh, God, Aaron. The frat boy. For sure, frat boy. And he only has... When was the last time 
you thought a guy with frosted tips was attractive? Probably back when maybe Justin Timberlake had it in NSYNC. See? A long time ago. Yeah. <clears throat> this guy. And then while I'm sitting there talking shit with my hair dyed, I've got one and a half more weeks of it. <laughs> and then you're going to go back to normal? Yep. So now there's three girls and then those five guys. What the hell? Who she thinks that, that out? Chloe, Chloe the bartender. You work there. So Chloe the bartender, I'm guessing, got a drink given to her by one of the guys. And she yeah. dumped it on the ground. Because she thought that it was going to be roofied. She's the bartender. No, it got brought to her from another bartender. Huh. But guess what? You work there. So that means that you're going to end up cleaning it up anyways. Oh, selfie time, girls. From her drug dealer. Oh. <laughs> what? That's what I usually put my uh, fucking numbers in my phone as. So Shauna is a drug dealer. Shauna just showed up and called Chloe's phone. And it comes up as drug dealer. And then little <laughs> does Chloe know that Shauna was right beside her calling her. Like, what a fucked up move. So Shauna is the Cobra Kai wannabe lookalike. Is that her? That looks like the one from Cobra Kai, but it's not her. But it is Shauna, the lookalike. Oh. Okay, that was the most awkward drug deal I've ever seen or done <laughs> in my life. Oh, she's oh. just offering Adderall to everyone in the bar. God, that girl also looks like the girl from fucking Game of Thrones, the younger sister. Arya? Yeah, Arya. Yeah. Yeah. So the drug deal, back to that, that fucking shit show. Chloe gives Shauna money, and then Shauna puts it in Chloe's pocket for her? Like, oh, yeah. I don't want to touch it. They didn't want to do it all open in public. Well, then don't go to a bar. Right? Maybe at the most crowded place on a St. Patrick's Day evening, and let's exchange drugs for money. Where everyone will see. And then I'm going to offer it to everyone there. It's funny if it wasn't even Adderall. It was just fucking baby aspirin. They're trying to watch out from having a heart attack. Yeah. Well, Was that adamantium? Wolverine for this? Weed. Ooh, oh, the Illuminati sign. Aliens. All right. It's just a big old conspiracy shit going on. Montage of that. All these pauses, flashbacks. Right. Makes me think that my fucking movie's skipping. <laughs> I know, or freezing, like the internet's going out. Right. The eclipse did just happen. It did. And over here, it affected almost 200 people with the power outage. Over here, zero. <laughs> so it sounded like those 200 people just didn't pay their bill. No, it was it was in Vail. Yeah, Nothing Vail's notoriously there. known for not paying electricity bills. Vail, to be <laughs> fair, is a mile by a mile. It's tiny. Yeah. Oh, so now Chloe gets those guys up and is like, come dance. And everybody starts dancing now. To rock music. Yeah. What? You can't have your shirts off in a bar. They're trying to play beer pong. What the fuck with inverted cups? And they're trying to cheat. What was her name? Jang something? I don't, Jing? I don't know. All right. Well, that was just a montage of people playing. What the hell? That girl's used to all those balls flying at her. Come on. And now everybody's switching sides. Because everybody says she probably sucks. Yeah, it doesn't work. Oh. She's doing it. Missy looks like a fucking... What's Debbie uh, Downer, like she doesn't want to yeah, be there. A grumpy puss, like, you know? And that has no intention about her vagina. <laughs> I mean, she might not even have one. It's 2024. We can never assume anything. Nope. But she just looks like, hey, you know what? We're not going to invite you out because every time you get invited out, you're just a big old grumpy Gus. What's a fucking other word for Grumpy. I don't know, mad. Mm. 
angry. Uh, like a grumpy Gus, a uh, fucking Debbie Downer. Negative uh, Nancy. What? Oh, yeah, negative Nancy. You know. Oh, God. So then Chloe goes up to Missy and said, what's up with your funk? And she's like, my funk? So said Michael <laughs> drugged her? Yeah, so was Michael that frat boy? No, that was Aaron. I don't know who Michael is. <clears throat> you ever been fucking roofied? I can honestly say I have not. Oh. <laughs> Why I'd have say you? At least 50% of your brothers have been. Oh my gosh. And it's the two brothers that live in the same state. <laughs> oh. Well, <laughs> that narrows it down. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There you go. All right. Well, yeah. I guess that's a story for a different time. Always. Just make sure that you uh, be careful with your drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Always just cover the top of it. No. Nah. And now she's in, Misty is in the bathroom crying. Maybe she ate Taco Bell for lunch and she's blown it up and now she's really, you know. I don't know. There's some thudding and growing. Oh, something's happening. Yeah, there is. There's. <laughs> <laughs> we all know what happens inside bar bathrooms. What? It's where you meet some of the nicest people. Mm-hmm. In the girls' bathroom, at least. What the hell? That's the weirdest bathroom stall I've ever seen in my life. With the door all the way closed? Yeah. So, we had those. But, what? In a bar? No way. They usually have the stalls that have like a half an inch opening. Ew. Oh. What the hell are they doing? Oh, they're fake snakes. I thought they were like beating up real snakes. You were saying that somebody just brought a bag of fucking <laughs> majestic and what? Albino pythons. <laughs> they could have. It's St. Patrick's Day. I mean, they are fucking Irish. It's not for Landry, though. Yeah. Oh, also, Avril Lavigne. Look it up. I don't know what the fuck they're looking up. But. Okay, so, see, now Misty's back because her tubby was upset. She's talking to the drug dealer. And now she's smiling. She just had the bubble guts. She had too much P- TBBGs. Didn't feel good. He had well, to go blow up a bathroom. And now she she's got it out of her system. Nope. I couldn't do that. Like, nope. I couldn't be at a party, go upstairs or go somewhere and blow it up and then come out and be like, all right, everybody, who wants to take shots? Nah. I think once you... Once you, uh... Have a BM, that's your night. You have to go home. <laughs> be like, all right, sorry. You yeah. Know? I think that's going to be a poll question. After you blow up a bathroom, do you go back to partying? No. So it's weird. Oh, so now what? It's a drug dealer thing. Um. So what, is she really into her, or is she just, no, she's just looking. She's, they're talking about the Illuminati and alien invasions. Yeah, no. Now it's super tense. Are people still, oh, oh, she's back over there with Aaron. Misty's not happy. Oh. So, yeah. She's sitting there talking to the drug dealer, and then she sees over there that Chloe's over in Aaron's arm in the corner. And so she just gets up, doesn't even pay attention, and walks off. And somebody with a fucking Father Time mask <laughs> rubs yeah. her and turns her around. It's that Najin Asian girl. Hmm. Oh, now she's gone. Chloe is missing. <clears throat> Wasn't she just? Yeah, but now Aaron and 
Chloe are gone. Yeah, they probably wanted to ditch her. They're like, dude, thank you guys. We were trying to get the hell out of there. Now there's only five guys and two girls. You know how big of a chance you have if you're one of those five guys that you're going to pull one of those chicks? See? They might. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's, they're going to do uh Oh, man. Have you ever heard of a little something called the Alabama Pig Roast? No. Good. You don't need to know what that is. Oh, so now they're going to start calling people. Is she just arguing? I don't, I don't think it's really Chloe on the phone. No, I think that she... Chloe picked... Or, uh... Chloe butt-dialed her. Yeah. And so now she's hearing what's going down. With some dark music. Misty just needs to, you know, just go and have fun. She Mind said Michael drugged her, but I don't think he did. Oh, so she's going to go check the boys' bathroom? That's uh, illegal. But, you know, you do what you got to do, bruh. You know, we support your decision. Oh, oh, that's not her. God damn. You ever made out in a fucking bar bathroom? No. Yeah, good. Like, oh. you would just think that, that would be the most fucking gross place. Might as well go to a goddamn outhouse or what the fuck are those called? Porta potties. potties? Gross. That's not like, too, making out by dumpsters. Well, Misty is on her... Oh, she found Chloe's phone in the road. How did she find that? Because she went out through the exit door. It looks like somebody... Whatever. Pilled out on it. Drug dealer missed phone call. The fuckhead took her. See, I think she's just... uh. What's a jealous is jealous Jane? Never heard that one, but well, we're about to make it official. Oh, she's gonna offer her some Prozac to calm her the down. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she's rocking a fanny pack though too, and how none of that shit is labeled. She just grabs. She just random. knows. She just knows what is what. <laughs> random. Sandwich bags and pill bottles. I'm pretty sure I saw a movie called Hangover where it didn't work out that bad, that good. <laughs> no, but they kept going back for more. <laughs> is, is how offensive is that? You know, I'd be like, "What's my name?" Like, tell me what my name is, and they'd be like, "Uh." And then I'm like, yeah, you say my name is drug dealer. Like, you don't even have the fucking decency to know my name. Like, if a police gets your phone and looks it up, he's going to be like, oh, I wonder what this person is. I'm like, what the shit, people? Get your fucking game straight. Yeah, have something. I was going to start doing that in my phone. I used to put nicknames in my phone. So that way, if I was with a girl... And like, oh, who's calling? I'd be like, oh, fucking, I'd have, used to have rapper names for them. Oh, my gosh. You know? And they'd be like, oh, okay, that's fine. And I was like, yeah, 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 all right. See? I mean, it works out. You got to change people's names. It is. You know, your name isn't fucking your name in my phone. <laughs> it's not. I should change your name. Sarah's, Dawn's, Dave's. Moms. Yeah. Hmm. I think only Brandon and maybe Donnie. <laughs> Have their normal names. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. I think me and you have the same name for Dominic. Good. You probably copied mine. <laughs> no. 100% you did. 100% I did not. Yeah, you did. No. I don't see you that often. Probably sounds like I'm pissing. You could uh, be. I mean, I could be, but that'd be really weird because I'm in my office. Where I'm just mixing another 
hefty drink. So now what's the drug dealer and uh, Chloe fighting about? Or Missy fighting about? They're just trying to figure out why they're there. They're probably how talking they about know boys. To oh, they're talking about stories. And that no one listened. Well, hashtag Me Too movement really did a lot for you guys. Yeah. Oh, I think it's the frat house. They're going to the frat house? It looks like it. That looks like a frat house, right? What if it wasn't? What if your name was like Brian Eisenhower Holmes? <laughs> so I just put I mean, a B-E-H on my house. And then there's always these frat dudes at my house being like, what's up, bro? I was like, no, God damn it. You? This is a family tradition or something. Well, it's a good thing your name isn't that. I think I'm going to legally change it. Except H. What's a good H last name? Ho Baggins? That would be a funny yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> you should change your name to that. What the fuck? So they're at the frat house. And it's... No lights are on. So apparently, there are obviously, there's no party there. There's this one person sitting there in a hoodie with their hood on, looking at a football... A Pop Warner football. Those shitty rubber ones. And, psych, it's a fucking mannequin. Oh. Oh, there's Michael. There he is. Looking all hot. Yeah, because his dad's a lawyer, so he can get away with stuff like like drugging Misty. See? <clears throat> he can get away with having a, what do you call it? His body shape, like Captain America, and what was that movie that he was in? Dayton movie. Remember that movie? It was the it was parody Cap of all those date movies. No. He had a banana shoved in his ass. No. <laughs> I don't know what you were talking about. I don't know what you watch. Date movie. It's pretty freaking hilarious. Back in the day when like scary movie, date movie, drive fast was all those good ones. What the fuck? So the drug dealer just opened up her fanny pack, pulled out some more random pills. To give like, him go. drugs so they could leave, but he's not going to let Misty leave. Oh, he says we need to clear up some stuff before we welcome you back here. Oh, she just gave him all those pills. Rattling pill bottles. Well, how about now? Wow. You don't, what the fuck? Wait, those just Viagra yeah. pills? I don't think that he drugged her. I don't know. I'm kind of getting that creepy vibe, though. Here it goes. See? He just said, if you ever want to grab a coffee and chat, let me know. Maybe he See? wants to be like, stop telling people that I did that. Usually when I roofie chicks, I don't ever invite them back to my house. Right? Because well, you don't do that. They'd be like, last time we hung out, you roofied me. They'd be like, oh, shit. Was that you? So now they're going upstairs, and there's girl's panties hanging on the banister and locked doors. They're just listening through the doors like creepers. God. Now they're going to like peek through the, pe the peephole? The lock hole? What? God damn it. And of course the drug dealer. It's the fucking Batmobile bait or the Bat Belt. That so has everything she, has, she needs. She has a, a lock picking kit in her fanny pack. And guess what? Oh. oh yeah, she's gonna open that one. But guess what? What? Where's the padlock that was up top? It's not what you think. What you would find walking into a room. <laughs> Holy shit! So now, is that Aaron? Yeah, because he has the frosted tips. So Aaron's tied up to his headboard in his underwear, but his thigh has that big ass bite in it too. Like that police officer. Oh. Now Misty wants to know where Chloe is. And he's like, I don't know where she is. Oh, and she's saying that after she said, I saw you with her. He's like, dude, we left after she poured her drink out. Oh, uh, call me nuts, but I believe him. I know. Because I think how that is crazy he person. Unless he freaking did it with his feet. But I think that that person with the mask 
Maybe Was did you ever really? watch uh, Umbrella Academy? Yeah, I watched some of it with you because you said it was like all of your siblings. Yeah, it was. So that black chick, I can't remember her name, but she would always go, I heard a rumor that, and then everything she said, you would see and understand and everything like that. So maybe that person said, I heard a rumor that you think that Chloe's with Aaron and his frosted tips. Maybe. So now the drug dealer and Missy are now interrogating him? Yeah, because he's saying he's been tied at that bed for a couple of hours. And they they were like, no, we saw you 15 minutes ago. And he's like, that just doesn't make any sense. Oh, see? He said he brought a girl home, but not Chloe. And she was apparently into some real kinky kink. If you know what I'm saying. See? And that... That's why you don't get tied up. On a first night? Yeah. On a one night stand getting tied up? No. Oh. So it's a ginger that just came in and bit and scratched his leg? Oh, man. Oh, he's saying there's something weird in her eyes. What if she just had lazy eyes? That's fucking rude, man. Yeah. Why would you bring a lazy eye? Then she spit on him? All that blood? So he punted her in the face and <laughs> told her to get out of his room. So, so she here's something. There. How was his door locked if she left? Well. Maybe she went out the window. Yeah, that's usually what you do. Wait a yeah. second. So that girl all of a sudden transformed into, oh, uh, I was going to say a dude, but it was him. <laughs> That would be messed up. As a guy, especially, to get banged by you. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, now. Oh, it's the about plot to get real. Thickens, as they say. Oh, and then, God damn it, did she really jump out the window? Like fucking. Like a spider uh, monkey? I was going to say, who's that black, the blue superhero from X-Men? Hank? I don't know. I was about to say Sonic. God damn it, Brit. So now we're back to generic Cobra Kai telling her story. No zombies. She's so set that they are aliens. She said no aliens. To reveal it, you know, but man. The alien invasion is happening. God damn it. It's full on happening, she's saying. Just because somebody claims it, you know. Didn't you just get into a fight with this guy earlier this evening and now all of a sudden you're believing him because he's almost butt naked and tied to his bed? bite mark on his thigh. So that's what it takes for women to trust a man? Apparently. I mean, he's never going to freaking be able to wear short shorts again. Nope. Now there's this foggy-ass yard coming up. Oh, some dudes in a circle, probably hotboxing in there. Oh, here comes a police officer just going into a house. (laughs) It's the one that got bit. Yep, here we go. Oh, man. St. Patrick's Day. I'm not here to ruin the party, guys. I'm here to puff, puff, pass. That's what you have to do. Don't be stingy. So he's telling them all they need to go party? That dude on the right for sure has priors. He's so afraid right now. Trash the town. So the police officer's telling them, and then clearly the police officer is overtaken by something, because he's telling them to leave and that Aaron will meet them. How does he know who Aaron is? That's that's the police officer. That's that redhead chick. So the police officer got bit. Turned to the redhead chick. Turned into Aaron. Banged Aaron. And then turned into the police officer. And he's going to come downstairs. He's going to 
eat up all their purple kush. Oh. Mm. Now he's rolling around. What the fuck? Oh, so now the police are here. Well, now the police officer's in Aaron's room. Trying to figure out what happened. I'm trying to figure out how there's not more blood coming from Aaron's leg. He's like, who did that? Have been very deep. That's pretty deep. It looks like got into some muscle tendons and everything like that. So now they're trying to side with Aaron, like, look, something crazy happened. And the police officer, god damn it, the police officer's name's Dominic. It would be, <laughs> because he's non Caucasian. God damn it. <laughs> so the police officer, he's trying to convince him, like, oh, maybe something went askew. And then the drug dealer, she's starting to try to piece together, like, maybe this officer's weird. I'm taking him to the station. Why is Aaron getting arrested? It's just standard procedure, the police officer said. Yeah, and they're just trying to find out where Chloe is. They're saying Aaron isn't our main concern. Right? He's just going to take a 80% naked man to the jail. Oh, so now yep. the drug dealer, Sean, is holding Missy back like, hey, don't go. Because oh. she knows. Mm. Oh, it was because a meteor landed in the 70s. Yep, 1978. So now she's telling her, like, shut up. Like, goddamn. Can't you fucking get this shit over? Aaron's oh. entire town. Oh, so now, somehow, Aaron's dress getting body slammed up against the car. Oh. Story, it's usually the other way around. But there's a dead person in the back of the patrol car. There's a bunch of dead people. <laughs> so now, and now... Aaron, Aaron's just going full speed, handcuffed, fighting the cop. <laughs> he kicked him in the dick and it didn't work. So, sucks oh. to be that cop. Oh, so the cop's in the Spider-Man pose. And gets punted right in his... Did he have an erection in his pants? I'm pretty sure he I, I wouldn't know. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to that. His pants were super pleated up front. Eugene. That's what they're trying to call. Eugen, people are fucking up. Eugen stands the last hour of the bar. She's like, so shut the fuck up. I'm trying to get my turn on. Ew. See, Eugen said, who is this? And Shauna, the drug dealer, is like, it's Shauna from the bar. They don't know you as Shauna. They know you as drug dealer. I know. You just say that. Say, I'm drug dealer. See, look at his pants. Look at Aaron. I iron down the cop. You're eyeing down Aaron's hair. Oops, now uh, the officer uh, has green. Well, he had green eyes. Aaron just, I mean. He's like curb stomping him. I was he about to say, the last alien. time that happened was fucking American History X, and that didn't end well. Nope. God damn. So, you know what I would almost be willing to bet? So, in movies, depending on how much blood you use, it also messes with your ratings. So, you see how they're stomping that fucking the officer's head and it's shooting mm -hmm. out green blood? Yeah. So, it's not red blood. So, I bet that that cuts it down on from this being like, I don't know if this is rated R or what it is. You know, there's a movie. Probably M.A. What? Probably rated M.A. Oh, I was like, no fucking way. <laughs> but there's a black and white movie that had like, I swear to God, like fire hoses full of blood. But it was in black and white. You couldn't see that it was blood. It was just water shooting from their faces and everything like that. And so they oh. didn't make it rated R or anything like that. The alien possible will kill you. You got your DNA? What the fuck? Oh. <gasps> Oh, that's how you just bite him? Like, I'm pretty sure if you would have just blew him instead of biting him, you would have had his DNA in the first place. He had to bite his thigh? Like, goddamn. Oh, look who showed up to the party all late. Oh, here you go, Eugene. 
Nice of you to show up. I was like, oh, why is he covered in green goo? I'd be like, you don't think this is, it's Nickelodeon. It's fucking, <clears throat> this is Amanda Bynes last season. <laughs> Dan Schneider's behind that tree right there. Filming it all. Mm-hmm. So they're running back into the house? Yeah, into the frat house. What the fuck? Where's, is- where's his friends? They're all left, remember? They're going out partying. I thought they were just meeting him outside. So the drug dealer is now cleaning Aaron's leg. She's going to be like, oh, does this hurt? And she just keeps going higher and higher into his thigh. <laughs> like, pay attention to where the bite is. Right. So, Misty, Eugene, Aaron, and Chloe, or Shauna, they're all just sitting on the couch now. Fucking just calmly talking about, okay, well, what do we need to do now? Get the hell out of that house and go to a different fucking house so people don't know where you're at. So that way you don't die. See? She's trying to move up on his thigh? Yeah. Damn. What a thirsty Thursday this is for her, I bet. It probably was on a Thursday. This poor guy, he probably has the weirdest boner right now. He has <laughs> three chicks Awkward. surrounding him. What? Nothing. He's probably just all, this is awkward. Like, I just want Chloe. Now yeah. Chloe's friends are hitting on me. He's serious. He's going to tell a story like, well, there was one time when all my frat brothers left and I was in my living room with my pants down. There's three women around me. See? Because that's true. Yeah. Bulls filling on my thighs. See? Yeah. Misty just called them a pervert mafia. That's a I mean, one. frat boys, you know. He said, I'm not Michael. She's still Close on it. That Michael drugged her. Because I feel like if he really the- did, why would you go back to the house where it happened? Maybe they're just taking a bunch of quaaludes, like all those people that said Bill Cosby messed with them. See? Maybe. Possibilities are endless. Indeed, they motherfucking are. Shauna. Oh, does she hear her? Uh Uh-oh. I think Missy's just fucked up. She's probably going to be the next one. I think Missy's an alien. That's why nobody invite her out. Uh oh, she's in the bathroom. Oh yeah, nobody in the bathtub. Oh, there's someone right there. She's Where? a goner. She's getting chased. Uh oh. Oh, he oh. pulled up his oh. pants. Gotta get your pants on to run out the house. Oh, who the fuck is chasing her? Cobra Kai. That was Cobra Kai chasing her. Yeah. But now they got Aaron. Oh, here comes Aaron. Nah. Bye, Aaron. Oh. Who the hell is that? prepared. Was that Chloe? That was Chloe. That short-ass green shirt. It looked like a white sweater. The crop top green. But at the same time, really? So, the drug dealer now has a police officer's six-shooter. And Mm -hmm. just dead shot fucking shot the girl chasing them right in the head. And then blew on the barrel like she knew what she was doing. She go always be prepared. prepared. My ass. What the fuck is that? There's just a truck driving by and they're ducking down. Unless that's his friends. Frat boys don't have shitty work trucks like that. Unless those are just more aliens. Alien imposters. Yep, for sure. Because look, all of a sudden two guys get out wearing jumpsuits, grabbing bodies and throw them in the back of the truck like they're motherfucking... (laughs) Yeah, they know. Oh, that's a police car from earlier this evening. Yep. Shouldn't there be two bodies there? 
Well, no. They, they took the police body, right? Yeah, that's the one that they just put in there. <clears throat> or they take the the red-haired guy, the beginning guy that was in the underwear that he got hit by the car. I don't know. He he ran away. Huh. Oh, so now the best thing you can do is go to a creepy place. In the middle of nowhere, late at night. That's my number one go-to. My number one go-to. It's like, this is a shithole. Yeah, I know. It's going to be fucking... It's going to be the drug dealer's house. I guarantee you. It's going to be fucking Shauna's house. Because as soon as she's like, this is a place... This is a shithole. Shauna looked all offended, like, I know. And she yeah. Mom and be like, hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. These are my friends. These are just some clients. Right. Mom and dad are going to be so proud of her. Like, oh, I knew that you had some pharmaceutical friends. Nah. So. What? Aaron's just trying to, like, flirt with Misty in the back of the car. Aaron's got jungle fever. But she's still trying to say, did she say that? Michael 100% kidnapped her friend. So at no. first you thought Aaron did, and now you're saying Michael did? Missy, it seems like this is why your friends don't fucking contact you, because you jump to conclusions so soon. All right? Don't assume. Because when you assume... I think Aaron asked her if she thought he was the type to steal, or not, to uh, kidnap her friend, and she said 100%. Who knows? Who knows these freaking days? Someone took Chloe, and we just don't know who. Maybe Chloe left by herself because you were. she's calling him misogynistic. Fuck off. Convince. Missy, I'm not a bad guy, all right? You see my hair? It's frosted. I'm a good guy. Yeah. He's like, you party with bad guys, and you live with bad guys. He's like, I'm on a full-ride scholarship for math, bitch. He's like, you think I do bad shit just because I know the fucking Pelagorium theorem? He's like, because I know fucking tangent and cotangent. I fucking, I'm, I'm a bad guy. He's like, you yeah. know anything about geometry? Well, all he wants is her forgiveness. And it looks like Misty is falling for it. Guess what? Everyone's so confused. <sighs> if my friends did something bad, I wouldn't say, can I have your forgiveness? I'd say, guess what? That ain't me. I'd say, that ain't me. That ain't my style. Bye. So now she's coming through and saying, I know you're not Michael. Hee hee. And then she leaves. <laughs> yeah. She looks like the type that would do that. So now she's, but then he's like, here, let me get you a drink. And then he roofies her. He's like, never trust anyone, bitch. And then rolls credits. Like, I am Michael. <laughs> Takes a mask off like <laughs> Batman. It's been me the whole time. Yep, so now they pull up to oh, some... Oh, they are? Yep. They're at Shauna's... Like, it's a double trailer, but, like, the trailers aren't, like, a double wide. It's, like, a trailer in the front yard, then a trailer again. Like, her aunt lives next door to her, or her, you know? Her own little compound. So you open up the front door right to a sink. Oh. Which I guess is cool. And then, oh, it's a mudroom. Oh, shit! Open it up right to your mom with her curlers and a fucking 12-gauge shoddy. Point it right at your face. Damn. See? How fucked up? How fucked up would you feel if you're like, where are we going? This is the biggest piece of shit everywhere. And then she's like, oh, this is my house. I'd be like, oh. You know, one time, well, two times in college, I said something fucked up. I was trying to get at these chicks, and I made fun of lazy eyes, and the girl's like, my dad has a lazy eye. I was like, oh, fuck. So I blew my chance with her. And then at the other college, I said something, I was like, oh, yeah, dude, like, Maz and Miatas are fucking lame as shit. And she's like, my dad has a Maz and I was like, fuck me, man. Why is it always the dad? Right? I want to be like, you know what? You might have some issues. You know? I have some daddy issues. Well, your dad might need to come out and say something. You know? 
but no, all right, so now the mom chit chatting. Yeah. And who is that boy? Who is playing Aaron? Because he looks really familiar, and I'm trying to think of what other movie or show he's been in. He looks like the dude from a uh, one of the Transformers that's dating uh, Mark Wahlberg's daughter. Remember it looks that like one? he could have been the one that was married to Fergie. Fergie? Yeah. In real life? Yeah. Fuck no, that doesn't look like him. What was his name? I don't know. Not Fergie. <laughs> Or he kind of, from a distance, at like a side angle, he kind of looks like Lance Bass. God. Maybe it's the Frosted Tips. Just the tips. It always gets you. <clears throat> <laughs> so the mom is sitting there in her bathrobe or her nightgown and everything. Yeah, he looks like the dude from uh, Transformers. That was dating Mark Wahlberg's daughter, and he was trying to be all tough, and he turned out to be a baby back bitch. But he still has some frosted tips, though. Yeah, all about the frost. And you know that he—that's just his hair growing out. Like it that's wasn't even more depressing. You ever sleep with curlers in your hair? Mom used to put them in mine and Sarah's hair when we were younger. If I were to remember that, I'd make fun of you so much. Yeah, they were the pink ones. Nerds. Damn! Oh. So now we're just having a gigantic-ass montage of... Apparently that second trailer is the goddamn Apocalypse Weapons trailer. There's hundreds of guns and bats with nails in them. Axes, machine guns, knives. What the fuck? Just, they, must have, they must have watched The Walking Dead to prepare. God damn. You know what I don't understand? How come all of these people live like shit but can afford all of these guns and weapons and everything like that? Like, you know how much AK-47s are? Probably a lot. I'm sure they're pretty spendy. And they've got like eight of them. You know? Like, who did they rob? Like, like look at that shit on the right hand side. Look how many shotguns they have. Each shotgun's like four hundred bucks. Handguns are starting out around seven hundred bucks. <laughs> like maybe that's why they live in a trailer. Is because they spent fucking a quarter million dollars on fucking ninja swords, braveheart swords, ammunition. You know. Yeah. You would never that. get to use all those weapons in a fight. You die before you fucking got to any of them. Yeah. They got so they fucking have... Chinese martial art blades. Like, what the fuck? They got Naji Nadas. God they have everything. Damn it. Nunchucks. Like, that's the thing. Do you know how to use nunchucks? No. Why do you have in your fucking weapon shed? You never well, know when they're coming handy. Fucking Viking battle axes. Like, <laughs> Russian... Guns? Like, good God. They have a lot of hooks. Dude. Oh, somebody yeah. grabbed the smallest knife that you could possibly grab? What the fuck? You oh, have the, the entire thing and you grabbed a three-inch blade. Uh-oh. Here's some weirdo with long hair walking by. Fucking Young Jin. What the fuck's her name? Yu Jin. Yeah, look, she just saw him again. Right in front of her. Oh. So now, what if he's just... So now she it? knows. You like how they have the same hair? Because they're the same person, except one's the imposter. No, you, Jin, and that dude have the same oh, hair. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> embarrassing. That is. Oh, look, uh -oh. she went back home. So now, you, Jin... Misty and freaking Aaron come rolling into the house with their weapons. Aaron's weapon. I'm just going to say he doesn't look like he knows how to swing that. No. Shauna that like is like, I got my gun six shooter right here in my hip. 
Oh, so they're going to go fight aliens? Yep. Hell yeah. Well, the mom is just there with her big old shotgun. <sighs> that sawed off shoddy, that's fucking illegal. So, the curlers, are there, why is one set red and one set green? Different sizes. It's pretty nerdy. Different textures. Uh oh. Somebody left the car door open. That means your battery's going to be dead. So now they're going to the car, looking around. What did you say happened to the guy that chased you again? Oh, I guess she just took off. What if she was, you know when you like run, you have to fart, and you're like, burp, 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 burp. what if she was crop dusting him when she was running? That's why the alien's like, fuck this, fuck the earth, and then he leaves. And just had to go? He just fucking screams up for whoever Thor's gatekeeper is, like, open up the gate! And then he gets off yeah. Earth and goes back to fucking the moon. God yeah, damn it. No big de- oh, I thought it froze. So they, the car door is open. And they just get into the car door. They don't even check around to see what's going on. No, they did a quick little peek in the window. And then they're like, well, let's just go. I don't know about you, but if my car door was open... I wouldn't just get in and drive, especially if there's an alien invasion. Exactly. Fucking nerd alerts. So now we're back to Cobra Kai. Girl Telling her story. Hair. Telling her story of what happened. I want to say fucking full of shit. So normally there'd be kids all over the place. Where the fuck are there kids all over the place at 2 in the morning when bars are closed at fucking St. Patty's Day? What kind of shitty-ass parents are there? I feel like maybe she meant, like, college kids. Nah. Because, like, here's all the toilet paper. Who freaking knows these days? Now, here comes all the toilet paper. (sighs) You know those books are in 2020. Nope. That's a shortage. Some people... God damn. People decorate the front of their house with green lights. Hey, St. Patty's I wouldn't. Just too much work. Oh, I thought that Missy was taking her extensions out. But she was just taking <laughs> <laughs> a hair bow. <laughs> Poor Missy. What if, Aaron, what if Aaron isn't really Aaron? What if he's like an imposter, but a really good one? I mean, who knows? You, Jin, could be too. Yeah, because she locked eyes with one of them. Like, what if Misty? Look, Misty knows something's wrong. Oh, you, Jin's laughing. Oh, it's because she caught on that she really likes Chloe. Oh, so she's thinking... She's my breast friend. Yeah, and That's now they're trying to figure to out what's been going on these last few weeks. Uh oh. This is the whole thing with me and Michael. Oh. So Missy claims she told Chloe the next morning about Michael doing it, and he couldn't tell if she believed him or not. Well. She never takes anything serious. I mean, that's kind of a good perspective on life, you know? Unless somebody's like, no, for real, dude. Then that's where shit needs to get real. Oh, she's just kind of laying it down on Misty. But, I mean, look, think about it. All night long, Misty's just been a fucking grumpy ass in the corner pouting. Oh, nobody bought me a shot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where's my invite? Every time we go out, you always get into fights. You always come up with a new conspiracy theory. Oh, it's not saying. She gonna fight her? Stop the car in the middle of a fucking. Oh, is she gonna fight her? Hell yeah, Missy, do it. So she stopped her car in a fucking whatever tunnel, and now she's saying that she's an alien. Oh, and now she's saying she's just mad. Because Chloe's replacing her as her number one. No, no. 
Here we go. Oh. So now we're going to turn on her. Like, she, she is an Arian. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now she's turning it around on the drug dealer saying, what if you and your mom roofied the whole town? And you guys are the ones doing everything. Like you really think that our roofie supply is that high? Oh, so now, of course, she grabs out her prison shank. It's like, I'm going to cut you, bitch. If it bleeds right, it's a human. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, God, it looked like he was going to poke his wiener. <laughs> like, why would you poke your wiener? And like, we know you're a fucking human. Aaron, you got a bloody-ass leg right there. Oh, so now they're saying, let's see who else is bleeding red. And so she used her middle finger, and guess what? Red. She was red. I could say a really inappropriate comment where she just, like, reaches in and pulls something out. It's like, you see? Still red. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, so now Eugen is like, I'm not going to do this. This is ridiculous. You're fucking mama. That's funny. You're fucking mama. That's always a good joke and come back. It is. You're an alien. You're fucking mama. Oh, I did not. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Damn. So Eugen just shanked drug dealer. Right in the shoulder. Yeah. And then gets in uh gets in the car. Oh, trying to get in the car. Oh. Oh. Wrestling. oh shit. She just got stabbed in the freaking head. Oh. Right before she bit Aaron. I was about to say. She turned into a vampire. Alright, so Hopefully they just leave her there. Looks like conspiracy theory fucking Misty's onto something. I would turn the body and run over the head. Just to make sure. See, that's what people's just problem is. You never know. In horror movies, you never know what the fuck's gonna happen. They you always know? come back to life. They always do. Those slick sons of bitches. Dance music. Are they at a church that's having a rave? I was just rave? about to say, a church with rave music. You know, one time when I was younger, mom let me go to this church sleepover thing, but it wasn't our religion, where it was a boy and a girl sleepover. Like, at no. this church, dude, it was the fucking weirdest thing. They're, like, grabbing each other and shaking each other, and then, you know, when, like, you have a prayer, like, one person has a prayer? There's, like, a group mm -hmm. prayer where, like, one by one, they'd be like, and please help my mom feel better because she's pregnant. And somebody's like, and please help me pay my bills. And it's like, and please Just bless my brother. Dude, it's fucking weird. Mm. Yeah, that really looks like a freaking church. It does. Now they're coming out all strapped. So out of all of those weapons, Aaron grabbed a baseball bat with Nels. Shauna just said, oh, I have my six-shooter that has five bullets left. And Misty grabbed a shotgun. Yeah, I feel like they probably could have gotten away with a little bit more. I think that they could have. You know? Rules of engagement. Chill. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh. They were like, what if it's Chloe? If she's an alien, and they're like, just do it. Just shank her. Yeah, there ain't no coming back, man. Once you've crossed over, there ain't no coming back. Oh. Well, they're about to find out. Going into a, a meat freezer. What the fuck? I don't know about you, but I feel like this would not be the end of a bar crawl or whatever they were doing. <laughs> Where the... That's just a trick door? Like, oh, everybody's just fucking ecstasied up. You're going to see Jaw Roll banging some dude in here? 
Well, now they got to stay together. Like, that's not suspicious, just walking in with the bat and nails. Right? You're greatly outnumbered. There better be some tits in here. See? I told you're on XC. Aaron starts getting dry humped by Michael. Oh, Misty fucking hooks him. Punches yeah, Michael no right exceptions. in his face. I thought he said no exceptions. So Aaron just got dry humped from behind. And then he's upset. Like, why did you punch my homeboy Michael? Uh-oh. It's red. Okay. So Missy's like, oh, either way, come on. Come on, Missy. Let's see who else is there. Maybe Chloe will be there. <sighs> you know that place smells like shit. Although oh, sweaty. God, that place probably smells. Uh-oh. There's green goo dripping from the ceiling. Someone's got to be there. The Hulk just came so much. It's just dripping to... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. It happens, man. Hulk smashed. <laughs> 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 so now they're going up some stairs. So you know how pissed I'd be if I was having a rave and all of a sudden... Fucking hot Hulk semen dripped on my face like bird shit. Like, God damn it, I'm just trying to live to listen to some Daft Punk. Oh, fuck. So there's an oh. alien egg just chilling? Who who laid the egg? <sighs> Whose ass is big enough to fucking... Oh, wait, is that the meteor? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, not believing crazy... Susan of the town because her mom predicted all of this and no one believed this looks like you know what that looks like it looks like the the purple goo from Power Rangers except green yeah I told you this is Nickelodeon slime man what the fuck good thing I got fucking two kilos of fucking C4 right here because that's what I usually have Oh, set it for two minutes and 50 seconds. That's the timer that you choose? Oh, so now Misty sees fucking Chloe. Chloe, or so she thinks. Now she's going to go run after her. Instantly, her pants got damper. And oh. she's running now. Oh. Uh-oh. She's totally an alien. She's like, oh, hey, girl, hey, come give me a hug. Hey, what are you doing? She, she sure did find her pretty fast. Especially she was outside, and now she's inside. Did you not hear me? Aaron attacked me. He's a psycho. It wasn't Aaron, trust me. He didn't. And now she's going to be like, oh. Oh, they're still, the timer's going up in time? For five minutes. Do girls know how to set timers correctly, or? Oh, there Don't you go. Don't touch it. There you go. What the fuck's this guy? He's going to say, it's morphin' time. And he's going to fucking turn into the <laughs> Green Ranger. God damn Well, it. they just said, like, they set off some alien timer. But you know what? With all the crazy shit that goes on, Spider-Man getting bit by a spider and fucking Hulk getting the, whatever, beta methasone. <laughs> like, I if I saw some alien shit, I'd be like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Fuck it. Obviously, we're going to die sometime. Touch some alien shit, and then hopefully you get some alien powers, like the Green Lantern. Hopefully your head doesn't get all fucked up like his, though. Is Chloe in a karate stance? What the fuck are you doing? She's got to protect herself. They got to... Now they're going to see if she has red blood. Oh, here she comes. What if she's a fucking Boise fan and it bleeds blue? I don't know. She's like, I gotta do this, and stabs her in the tit. How come Shauna has no issue at all with her left shoulder? Shauna's a fucking gangster, man. She is. She's a drug dealer. Oh, I guess that's why. She came, she started from the bottom, and now she's there. Now the whole yep. world's fucking there. God damn it. I was wrong. 
Missy didn't grab a shotgun. She grabbed a fucking machete. I mean, maybe... I don't know if that's any better. It 100%. I don't know. Now this guy's just going like he played fucking football in high school. And he's just dodge, duck, dip, dodging, and dive. Fucking all these people through a rave. <sighs> all just they're trying Misty, to do is just... Like, how did Misty get left behind? She always gets left behind because she fucking is Debbie Downer. It was like, Missy, run for your life. And she's like, no, I'm going to sit here and complain for a little bit. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I bet you the one that just went to save her is an alien. <sighs> Potentially. Oh, oh, wait, that was fucking four kilos of C4. Oh, just her. Chloe just got tackled by somebody. Is it Michael? Hell yeah, oh, Michael. Oh, alien Michael. Maybe it's not. No, he well, was. All right, his, it eyes, is. his eyes changed. Damn. So she's going after him with the machete now. Into the hallway. Oh no. He bit oh, her. Going to the bathroom. It's all over. Right, she didn't even clear the room. She didn't even look to the left of her to see if anybody was in there. But, you know, fuck do I know. Oh no. What the fuck? So she opens up a door and there's two Chloe's. And both of them are holding their arms saying, oh, she's an alien. No, she's an alien. Here comes this comedy skit. All right, which one is it, Misty? All right, Misty. Don't fuck up. Check off the fuck, 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 fuck. Here comes this drink Brian's making. I like came prepared for this evening. Are you prepared? Uh oh. I don't know why you're crying. Just do the test. I know. Hurry up. Like, get on with it, nerd. I don't fucking know. I just don't want to die. Please don't kill me. Oh, she chose right. Uh oh, I miss who she chose. The one who said that she's her best friend. With the Gucci Sue? Yep. <laughs> and let's see if this mic picks this up. Yeah. Make it yep. more. Sounds great. like you're peeing. It did sound like I was peeing? Yeah. That's really weird. Oh, thankfully they made it through the night. Now the sun's coming up. So aliens don't come out during the day? Probably not. But I think you were right, though. Aaron might not be, you know, he might not be a, a human. Uh-oh. She said, Something I know Chloe would have lied to me. Uh-oh, here comes the bomb. And that's enough C4. Mm, I think that'd be a little bit bigger. Why do those two look so mad? Right? Like, they just conquered all those aliens, and now Misty and Chloe are all, eh. No. I think Misty was an alien the whole time. Oh, right. Misty unfollowed Chloe. Missy unfollowed Chloe. Just because you get yeah. rejected doesn't mean you're a princess. Kind of cool. What? what the fuck? All right. I did not expect. So they yeah. were all just, uh, they really were just upset that they blew up the alien thing, huh? Yeah, I don't even know what they were upset about. Well, probably because <sighs> Missy realized that Chloe wasn't into chicks, unless they had dicks. I feel uh, like I, you should have known that already, but some what? people just can't pick up signs. Snitches get stitches. Where the fuck's that come from? There might be more Ness out there. Get those G-men. Alan? 
Who the fuck's Alan? I never saw or heard anyone about Alan. All right, it's a conspiracy theory, she's saying. Far more frightening, huh? So, I'm guessing that if there's ever a meteor that hits the world, if anybody has oh. green eyes. Oh, but then you see in the background. But then there's green. Oh. The background, another meteor hit. Mom, they're back. And she grabs a gun again. Now she upgraded to a fucking nine milli. Well, now I wonder if there's going to be a second one. I mean, there potentially could be. You know, who freaking knows? Who freaking knows, man? You know? But let's take a break real quick. Let's come back for our final thoughts on crawlers. Word. All right. Word. All right. We are back with final thoughts of crawlers. Dun, dun, dun. Right? <clears throat> That's the scary sound. Yeah. So, what'd you think? I mean, <laughs> definitely not what I thought it was going to be about. I know, right? I thought it would have been a little bit, uh, I mean, it was fun to watch, don't get me wrong. I thought that it would have, I don't know, I thought it'd be a little bit different, but I mean, I guess that's good. That we couldn't guess of what's going to happen next. They did know. a good job about tricking us. Right. Uh, why they're at the end, how you said too, like, why are they so fucking grumpy? Be happy. <laughs> you blew up the fucking alien eggs. You got your friend back, but then you unfollowed her. Yeah. Because you're fucking, you can't take rejection. All right. Mm -hmm. Some people just don't like that ass. Back the fuck up. You know? Yeah. Or maybe maybe Chloe was mad that they had to kill her Asian friend. I don't know. Oh, yeah, they did. They killed you, Jen. Yeah. Damn. What a buster. Well, maybe she shouldn't have turned into an alien. Maybe she should have ran faster. Or maybe don't leave when they told you not to leave. Right, see, that's one of the fucking things. They always say, don't split up. Don't split up. And Asians are supposed to be smart. Right, but, I mean, book smart, look at her mom. Mom's very, very, very book smart. Street smart? I don't know, man. No. No Just common sense. As many times as mom did fucked up things at work, you know? Funny stories, don't get me wrong. You know? Yeah. Um, no, I thought it was funny. I thought, like I said, it was different than what we thought it was going to be. I thought that it was going to have more shit going on to it. But it seems like it's going to be one of those movies again that I watch with sound and everything like that. Because, you know, maybe with sound it'll make more sense. You know? Yeah. But it's always funny to ad lib of what's going on, you know. What if it really fucked up and Missy and Chloe are fucking siblings? Boom. <laughs> Think about that. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, maybe so that's a possibility too. Yeah, but all right then. Well, fucking thank you for yeah. stepping in. You know, anytime. Um, do you want anybody to follow you? You want to tell anybody where they can fucking follow you? Shit or no? <laughs> maybe ne maybe next time. All right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe there might be. Maybe you know. What if you're just like, hey, follow me on fucking Instagram. Here's my fucking handle. I mean, you can always do that. Oh yeah, I didn't fucking even say anything about that shit at the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> right? I fucked up. Wow. I know. Should have answered that person's call. Right? What the fuck? I think it was. They weren't even supposed to answer calls. I only have been trained on answering calls. That's what well, the problem. Maybe Anthony just shouldn't be Save gone lives, anymore. Right? Yeah. Anthony, quit saving lives and get on the podcast. You're not Derek Shepard. Right? So, 
All right, then. Well, again, thanks for stepping in. Love fucking seeing you. So, Anytime. All right, then we will talk with you later. All right. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Thank you for listening to the podcast. This podcast is available on all major podcast networks and YouTube. If you like what you're hearing, please follow, like, and subscribe to us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.